Thanks. Hello. Um, I wonder if you could please start by just giving us your reaction to this news that Jonas has resigned. Uh, I spoke to him yesterday afternoon. Um, got shocked by the news and um, was very sad because he's been a good leader for, for the staff. I've worked with him before in Sweden and uh, we worked really well together. And I'm, I'm very sad that it, it got to this point. So, yeah. And can I ask as well about, I understand he told the, the players in person this morning, but what's been the reaction from, from the team? Yeah, we, we got made aware this morning um, in our team meeting before we went out to train. And yeah, like when he said, a bit sad. You know, it's Jonas has been our leader for the last four years. Um, and he's obviously made the choice to, to step away just now. And, um, you know, we have a huge amount of respect for him. And now, yeah, as a group and players, you know, are, as a part of the leadership group, we have to get the players together. And obviously it's a big change, but we need to, to move forward now and, um, you know, change our focus to, to what will be tomorrow's game. Can I ask, do you think that there is more pressure and, and, and greater expectation on, on managers in the women's game than ever before? Or not? I mean, there was kind of a lot of talk about the pressure that was on him over the last few weeks. But have you seen a shift in, in kind of a growth in that, in that expectation? I think, especially coming to a big club like like Arsenal, uh, definitely has changed you know, from where I come from, Netherlands, Sweden, where I've worked before. Um, I haven't worked in England for so long, but obviously I've been following it from from the outside. I think definitely, uh, that's, it comes with a lot of positives. Obviously, that it's it's very big now. It's very alive. There's a lot of fans and supporters, a lot of people involving and engaging, which is very positive. But then it comes with the, with this as well, yeah. Um, and what about what this means for you? You've been placed in interim charge. Um, your reaction to that, and 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 how are you feeling about the opportunity? I feel uh, when I got the question yesterday, um, I felt like if if this is how we need to go forward. Um, I'm happy to do it because I care about the team, I care about the players. Uh, I've been here for a year now, massive club, so I'm, I'm happy to help. Yeah. Is it a role that you would like to do full-time, to be considered for that full-time position? Right now I just focus on uh, especially these next two games that are ahead of us, which are very important games for us, and then the future. I'm not so concerned about that. And just final question from me for both of you really is how do you park everything that's happened and look ahead. You know, you mentioned those two games, but obviously you're back in Champions League action tomorrow. Um, how are you all feeling approaching that, that picture? Yeah, I think, um, you know, a strength of maybe what, what Jonas has left is that, you know, there, there is the foundations here and um, this incredible club has got, you know, everything in place um, for us to succeed. So, um, yeah, we, we move forward with that um, and refocus and bring the group together um, leading into our second Champions League group game tomorrow, which, you know, is a really important one. Um, we've gone through it, gone through the, you know, tax and stuff today. Um, yeah, and we look forward to that. But, yeah, it's just bringing everyone together and um, refocusing and, you know, ultimately our job is to get out there and play as players and um, that's what we need to focus on.